Welcome back everyone. Thanks for clicking on the video. Here today I show you five tarp pitches you can use in inclement weather. These are a little more technical, a little more complicated to set up, but they are bulletproof. All you're going to need is a 10 by 10 tarp, some paracord, a trekking pole, and a few stakes. Let's get to this. The first pitch I'm going to show you is the trail tent. Let's start by laying this out flat. To start, you want to come to the side, go one tie out in from the corner, and attach a length of paracord, and then stake it out. Then come to the end, one tie out in, attach your paracord, stake it out. Your next step is to take two shorter pieces of paracord, come one tie out in from the corner on either side, and tie those together. Those two loops secured, you do the same to the back. One tie out in from the corner, one tie out in from the corner, and tie it off. You now come to the other side, two lengths of paracord, one for either side, two stakes, and tie it off. One in from the corner again and stake it off. As you can see, this is laid out as a rectangle. You'll be sleeping in this direction. It doesn't matter if you start at the front or the back. For the example, I'm starting at the back so you guys can see. Find your center line, go one tie out in and adjust your trekking pole accordingly. Attach your paracord to that loop along with your trekking pole. Pull tight and stake off. Then do the same to the front. Find your end tie point, go in one, attach your paracord, Size up your trekking pole. Pull tight and stake it off. The final step, you take four more stakes Take out these flaps that are left behind on either end. Undo the knot at the front. And then use that piece of paracord to tie it off to the trekking pole. Gives you your doorway. If you're pushing six feet tall like I am, sleeping on an angle in the shelter is ideal. But there's plenty room for all your gear, my feet aren't touching the end, and I have a little bit of space here at my head as well. This is a great tarp pitch for heavy rain, heavy wind, it's solid, and it's stable. Let's move on to the next one. The next pitch I'd like to show you is the star tent. You need eight stakes, four lengths of paracord, and your trekking pole. You want to go around and attach a piece of paracord to each tie out and leave a stake at each corner. Attach your paracord to the corner tie out and stake that out. Oh, of course I hit a rock. You then want to do that to the other three corners.
Once your four corners are staked out, you want to insert the trekking pole into the center of the pitch. Once the trekking pole is inserted, you then want to find the middle tie out on each side and stake that out. Entry and exit of this tarp shelter is not the nicest. You pull one stake and you have a little doorway to get in. You kind of got to crawl in. But there's an abundance of room inside and this is bomb proof. Let's take you on in and show you. This pitch provides ample space. You can easily fit two in gear. Trekking pole is dead center. Lots of room. Don't have to worry about knocking it down. And there is a ton of room still. Let's crawl on out of here and get to pitch number three. The next up is the strong hexamid. It's a complicated technical pitch. It's gonna need some practice, but it's rock solid and will protect you in any weather. All you're gonna need is six stakes, four pieces of paracord, and your trekking pole. To start this pitch, you wanna start at the back. Go one tie out in from each side. Tie off your paracord and stake it out. The next step is to move to the side, go one tie out in from the corner on either end, pull that one tight and stake them together. Next take two more stakes and pieces of paracord, one tie out in from the corner, tie it off and stake it out. Find your corner. One tie out in, stake it out. You take your last stake, one tie out in from the corner, one tie out in from the corner, stake those together. Next step is to crawl on in, find center, Adjust the trekking pole accordingly. Entering and exiting this pitch, simply unhook one side and you have a massive doorway. Alternatively, you could pitch this out, leave yourself a little bit of an awning, crawl inside and be able to see still. But for the purpose of fully enclosed shelters, once that door is buttoned up, everything's tucked in. This is bomb proof. It will protect you in the worst rain. Let's take you on inside. This pitch provides you great headroom, a little more restricted inside. You could still sleep two and gear if you had to. One would be much more comfortable. Again, trekking poles in the center of this pitch. And as you can see, practice is needed with this pitch. I still don't have it figured out. I struggle with this one. The next pitch I'd like to show you is the trapezoid pyramid. All you need is a trekking pole and four stakes with your paracord. You wanna start at the back two corners of your shelter. Attach your paracord and stake out. Again, attach your paracord and stake out. For the next step, go to the front corner Go one tie out in, one tie out in. Leave a little bit of slack because this is going to be your doorway. Tie them together and stake it out. The same goes for this side. Find your corner, one in, one in. Leave some slack, tie them together and stake it out. Just like most of the other pitches, you crawl inside and adjust your trekking pole to height. I did leave a little too much slack. I'm gonna have to do a quick few adjustments, get this nice and tight. I'll show you what to do for the door. 
Once inside, you take the two loose ends, stake them together. This is your door. And you simply hook that onto the stake. Uh, one hand is a little tricky. And you're locked in. The door is here at the front of the shelter. I lay horizontal in this one. Ton of headroom. I have a ton of foot room. All this space here can be used for your gear. This is a great shelter. Another bomb proof shelter. Wind will not take this down and neither will the rain. The next pitch I'd like to show you is the lengthwise pyramid. This is going to take five stakes, some paracord, and a trekking pole. For this pitch, you're going to want to start at one of the back corners, tie off your paracord, and stake it out. For the second step, you want to go to the other corner on the back, go one in on either side, fold it together, and tie those off. and stake that out. You go diagonal across your tarp and do the same. One in, one in, fold them together, and tie that off. You then go to your other front corner, tie off your paracord, just off the corner only. And again, like the other designs, you got to crawl inside and adjust your trekking pole accordingly. It's going to need some adjustment. Pull out your stakes, pull tight, and go around. For this tie out, I had to eliminate the paracord because I didn't have a door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of crucial. So now you can just unhook this and crawl on in. Let's go inside and show you. I have an abundance of headroom, just as much at the feet. It's impressively large inside. It's a little narrow, but long, super comfortable, plenty of room for you and your gear. I'm going to crawl on out of here and wrap this video up. The tarp is one of my favorite shelters. They're super versatile, they're super functional. Once you learn to do some of these more technical pitches, they can be life-saving. The tarp is amazing. All of these pitches do take practice. I highly suggest practicing in your backyard, where I am today, before you take them out and trust your life to them. Some of them are really tricky to set up right, and I learned that today. I do got to give credit where credit is due. Some of these pitches were designed by Papa Hiker. I just had to try them. I'm happy I did. They are awesome. They are bomb proof, weather resistant shelters that I will be using in the future. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think.